What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff Benjamin. I'm going to show you how you can get this on your Apple TV. Yes, this is a web browser. It is the tvOS browser that is available on GitHub right now, open source. So what I want to do is show you how to get this on your Apple TV. You want to connect your Apple TV to your Mac with a USB Type-C cable. That's the first thing you want to do. Once you do that, go to this GitHub page. I'll have the link in the description. Copy the URL here and then launch Xcode. I'm running the beta, but yours should be the normal version of Xcode in most cases. Once you have Xcode open, click source control, select checkout, and then paste that URL we copied right here in the repository location and click next. And then click, click the uh, download button that pops up here. All right, so it's gonna open up the project in Xcode. You should see browser here and you should see Apple TV here. Make sure your Apple TV is connected to your Mac, of course. And then click play to try to build uh, this application for your Apple TV. It's gonna say failed. And there's a reason why that is. So I'm gonna show you right here. And here it is, UI web view is unavailable, not available on tvOS. That's the reason why the build failed. So we're gonna fix that issue. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna minimize this for now. We're gonna open up a finder window, click on application, scroll down to you see your Xcode installation. Mine says beta, yours is just gonna be the normal Xcode, which is right here. But mine says beta, right click on it, select show package contents, double click on contents, double click on developer, double click on platforms, double click on Apple TV OS platform, double click on developer, double click on SDKs, double click on Apple TV OS SDK, double click on user, double click on include, and then you'll see this, availability.h. So you wanna double click on availability.h, and we wanna find a particular section in this file, a uh, particular, well, a couple of lines of code that we're gonna edit. Here and here it is. Define tvOS unavailable, define tvOS prohibited. Yeah, we're gonna change those. So what we're gonna do is go back to the GitHub page and the developer has actually made this really easy for us. So we're just gonna copy this and replace those two lines with these two lines. Just like this. So there, that's all there is to it. Now just save, Command S, close out. And guess what? When we load up Xcode again, those errors just disappear automatically. Just click build again, play button, and you're gonna see this build successfully. It's building right now, compiling, and there you go, build succeeded. So now, back to our Apple TV, guess what we see? The browser, and I can open it up just like that. Super easy. Uh, it's not the best browser, obviously. It's pretty limited, uh, but you can insert URLs if you press the play pause button. You'll get a little pop-up that allows you to uh, <laughs> type in a URL using the terrible keyboard on Apple TV. Uh, it's a horrible keyboard. You can't use a physical keyboard, unfortunately. I sped this portion up because I'm so bad at typing on this thing. So just because you see me typing it real fast doesn't mean I'm actually doing that. It's the wonders of editing, folks. It took me probably like half an hour to do this. But you're going to see that you can easily browse to a website. It's very basic, but it works. You can tap on the center of the touch area on the Apple TV remote to switch between the cursor and scroll. You can click the touch area to click. Menu will navigate back and the play pause button will let you put in URLs. So like I said, it's very simple, but it does work. And if you want a browser on your Apple TV, you want to browse on a big screen, then this is certainly one way to do so, folks. It is the tvOS browser for the Apple TV. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Do you like this? Leave me a like down below if you do. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.